In today's episode of Tips and Tricks Using Mastercam, I am going to show you a new option for adjusting milling tools and holders. In previous versions, you had to edit tool projections on the holder branch of an operation by typing a value. Now, in 2017, you can dynamically edit tool projection in the graphics window by snapping the tool to part geometry and dragging the holder along the tool to align it. Let me show you how this works. To begin, let's look at a file which will require varying stickout lengths for the tools used to machine it. You can see that the part's features vary from shallow to deep, including one cross hole that spans the full width of the part. I'm going to show you how we can use those part features to precisely adjust the tool projection lengths. Next, I will click on and open an operation. If we look here on the holder branch, you can see the current distance of the tool projection from the holder. I back up to the tool branch, right click on the tool, and select Edit Projection. Instantly, a 3D representation of the tool and holder appears in the main graphics window. The tip of the tool is fixed on the cursor and the tool's axis is aligned with the tool plane of the operation. I simply click on a feature to set the tool assembly in position and make it ready for editing. Finally, once I have positioned the tool, the entire assembly highlights white and is ready for editing. If I click the holder now, I can either drag it along the tool axis to adjust it or simply type a value. If I want to check against a different feature, I simply click the tool again to move the entire assembly. It's that easy. As you can see, this new option for editing tool projection directly in the graphics window makes it easier than ever to visualize a crucial part of the job setup process. Well, that's it for this episode from SimQuest TV and the 2 Minute Tuesdays Mastercam channel. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.